Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's stream. Hi! How are you all doing this fine Thursday Eve? Welcome, welcome. Ooh. Half a year I've been haunting you while you haunt me. <laughs> thank you so much for the subscription, Avoca! Six whole months! Thank you, thank you, yes. I haunt you, you haunt me, yes, yes. <laughs> and it'll around and around we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Also welcome, also happy Thursday. Yeah, I heard about what happened, Zachariox, with your computer. I hope that they can repair it for you because that sucks. It's just like your GPU, right? It just stopped working. I hope it's something they can repair. I really do, because that always sucks when you're, you know, struck with surprise repairs. <laughs> I can speak from experience because that happened to me last week. So I'm sending you good vibes. I promise you it wasn't my fault. I didn't, you know, possess any part of your computer. There's no ectoplasm in there anywhere. You will not find any. Nope. <laughs> not a drop. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I really do. I really do hope uh, they can fix it for you. No problem. Yes. Hello, Avoca. Hello. But yes. Thursday, this week has been good. It's been good so far. No more uh, things breaking on my end, which is always a good thing. The kitties are good as well. Um, and also, did you guys, did you all see the news that dropped today that My Chemical Romance dropped a track? They dropped some beats and they're coming out with an album. <laughs> I've seen some other people like get really excited about it. I saw Chibi get excited about it in our discord server and i am so so heckin excited to see what else is coming out i listened to the song i like it mm -hmm. i'm excited to see what else comes out so that'll be really cool oh yes and um as far as updates go i will quickly uh remind everyone that this saturday we are having a uh, community day we're going to be playing Jackbox games, all kinds of Jackbox games for six hours during the day. So feel free to stop on by for any part of the day. Join in, play a game if you can. Love to have you. It'll be a lot of fun. Also, um, if you haven't yet, please consider uh, follow me on YouTube. Although YouTube, it is subscribing, but subscribing on YouTube is free. <laughs> Just... Um, Hoping to get, <laughs> hoping to hit some subscriber goals over there, with the big one being 1,000. So if you haven't yet, and you'd be interested in my VODs, you should check it out. Luigi's Mansion one came out today, and it's more or less a VOD, but I did edit in some things. I trimmed it down because it was a lot of running back and forth, because I died a lot to that last boss. But I did edit some stuff in there. It was a lot of fun. So... If you can, and you check it out, and you like it, let me know. Like, leave a comment, all that good YouTube stuff, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And aside from that, do I have any other announcements? Mm. Not right now. But if any come up, I will absolutely let you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Things are always happening in the wings. Uh, what's taking up a lot of my time recently is just, you know, video editing, making the TikToks, making the shorts, making... Making my way downtown. That kind of thing. Anyway. You're watching the Valentine's special VOD? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so long ago now. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yes. We'll have to play some more Phasmophobia soon. I really do enjoy that game. And they came out with more updates, as they do. So I like that. Hi, Idol. Hello. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. Happy Thursday to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, tonight, we are playing Deadly Premonition on the Xbox 360, and I am really excited to revisit this game. It's kind of similar to Luigi's Mansion in that I played it once, and I have not played it again since. I've watched uh, Let's Plays for this one, though, because there's all kinds of quests and stuff that you can do. And I didn't do during my playthrough. So it was really interesting to see all that, like, 100%ed. So this time around, 
I don't think I'm gonna 100% the game, but we're gonna try. Maybe, we'll see. There's at least some quests that I absolutely wanna do because the rewards are just so heckin' good. And you'll see, you'll see what I mean once we get there. But, my god, I am so glad I did testing on the 360 because it needed a bit of mm, work just so that I can create save states on it. <laughs> it needed me to log into Xbox Live, which I was like, excuse me? So I got that sorted out. Regardless, all the kinks are worked out. We're good. We're good. We are green, baby. We're good to go. So with that in mind, let's get into it, huh? Let's go. Multiple endings? And, oh, maybe multiple endings? Was that in a later version? Boop. Kill that music. Because this isn't the director's cut. This is the OG. And I don't know. I don't. I don't recall there being multiple endings. There was just the one. Maybe they changed that in the, the later versions. But. Oh, also too, I did some testing on my end, but let me know if the game is too quiet or too loud and I can make adjustments as needed. But I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really heckin' excited. Freaking love this game. This is like the room. A video game. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Look at those graphics. Oh. <laughs> now this game, I believe, came out in 2010. Oh. And even at that time, I was like, wow, these graphics. <laughs> yeah. I knew from this cutscene alone that I was in for something special. It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. I do. But I think at the time it was more like this is the Xbox 360. It was cutting edge. Like <laughs> the graphics are being punched up and then you play this and you're like, huh. I hear the voice in oh yeah, um, I also looked at this next part coming up. Should be okay. You can't see anything. <laughs> Twitch, don't ban me. <laughs> it's artsy, okay? It is... Okay, well, let me be... Hold on. I could be creative about this. Wait. Yeah, there we go. What? <laughs> you see nothing! <laughs> this makes it really easy for YouTube. Because I might need to censor this on YouTube, but I'm just here now. No problem. Oh. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm with the kids, like, oh. Can, can you believe this? Oh. <laughs> it's that, it's me.
There's a snake. It's a white snake. Look, I have legs, okay? <laughs> Always the creep creepy twins. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we would have been good. Because it's not... I don't know. I mean... I know the rules as far as VTuber models go. You can't show your your sh you can't show the underbust area, and you can't show your hips. Your butt and your hips have to be covered. Your underbust must be covered. But I think for this stuff, it's okay. <sighs> yeah. Well, the hips are covered, but also it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her hair is very strategically placed, you know? Okay, well, it's good to know that Twitch is okay with it. I know you- I don't know. I s keep seeing people- censor cleavage on YouTube. I don't know why, but they censor it. Better to cover your butt, I guess. Also, look at this. I mean, not to make fun of her pain, just the way she's holding the portrait. That's, that's me. With the neck awkwardly held and, uh, so sad. Yeah. I would agree, Idol. I'm already getting really excited because I love all these characters. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is the awkward introduction into Deadly Premonition, one of my favorite games of all time. So let's freaking let's get into this. So heckin' excited. Mmm. I get you, idol. As long as you don't invoke the horny, you're okay. In theory. Okay. I had to do a test so there is save data, but I'm gonna overwrite it because new game. And normal difficulty I think will be fine, I think, because I've heard that hard on this game is stupid hard. So we'll do normal. I think. <laughs> There's a lot that I don't remember. Normal difficulty for the player who wants to enjoy combat. Skillful use of weapons will be required to clear the game. Would you like to start the game with this difficulty setting? Uh, yes. 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 Oh yeah. Oh wait. No, I got it. <laughs> Look at their faces. What kind of this is like your introduction to the game, like... <laughs> yeah, I would- I believe this game is absolutely inspired by Twin Peaks. <laughs> Instead of red curtains... <laughs> And checkerboard floors. It's, you know, the red roof. Okay. Oh. oh, there's a fast turnaround. Well, that's good to know. I was, um. I realized I need to see if Resident Evil Village also has a fast turnaround. 
I'm sure it does, but hell yeah, fast turnaround. Also, on the HUD, there's a heart meter, and if it goes up all the way to the top, you start losing health. So, I'm gonna be avoiding that. Whoa. Observe. A white screen. I mean, it is white. Observe. I'll just add this trade. <laughs> I'll just add this trading card to my collection. Cool, I got a collectible card. Actually, maybe, you know what? I'm gonna talk to the creepy children. Let's talk to the creepy children. Hello. Let's hear what this person has to say. I'm hoping this doesn't skip stuff. We'll see. Could you wait just a little longer? This won't take long. Okay. <laughs> okay, kids. <laughs> yeah, I think Swery's lying too. He must have seen it at some point. Must have. A strange clock is ticking away. Though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Red leaves fluttering in the air. A chandelier hanging from above. Can this riddle be solved, Zach? There's a sh Oh, there is! What? You can barely see- can you see? You can kind of make out the outline. There is a chandelier there. It is very, very faint. A doll, shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it, which reads, Washington State. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It'll start soon. It's about time to get started. With the game? Francis York Morgan is our main character. Zach. Zach, can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Is it me? Am I Zach? Okay, I'll, I'll answer. Oh, good. I thought you went to sleep. Nope. Zach, don't be surprised. Crime took place in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay. Okay, Zach? Okay. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. <laughs> Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. Spicy Korean Listen, dumplings. They both need each other. Sounds it's called interdependency. Delightful. And they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine as long as that's what Tom wants. Think about it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Do you know what he's talking Who? about, chat? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, no. they live with each other. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Zach, I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. Yeah, the cat and the mouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well... I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. 
the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zack? Perpetrator from the last case really was something. That's why I love it. It's weird. Would have thought there'd be razors laced into her nails. Crazy. Just crazy. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Wait, I just Women. realized his cigarettes are Crazy. police brand? Don't you agree, Zach? What? This next part, the sound editing, is good. kind of squirrels were those? Riddle me that, anthropologists. <laughs> hmm. It works. Oh, but the cigarette. It's bent. Hmm. Zack, there goes the civilized world. He's fine. He's just gonna walk it off. No problem. <laughs> Alright, save's completed. Turn my flashlight on and off. Yep, makes a huge difference. Okay, so we've entered <laughs> a scary part of the game, so you know what that means. A uh, boop! Mood lighting time. Wow, the camera is really responsive, but it, it snaps back, like, like... Like that. It's over here. Steel pipe. Nice. Oh! This is... What is it? Honor? Medal of Honor? Agent Honor. It's money. <laughs> There's something here, too. What is this? Why can't I do- oh, there we go. I can put something away or I can take something out. Wait, is there anything in there? I guess I should check. I just assumed there wouldn't be. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. My car is fucked. Oh, I can observe it. Tough luck. Have to leave you here, old buddy. How long were we together? Ever since I joined the Bureau? Hm. Yeah, steel pipe. Classic, classic horror uh, weapon of choice. Actually, how do I equip it? Weapon. I have a knife. I have pipe. I have gun. With infinite ammo. I'll take it. Hey, Cosmic, how are you doing? Now, how do I shoot? <laughs> how does this work? Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay. After playing Luigi's Mansion, I'm suddenly used to airplane controls. This is an airplane controls. <laughs> Take that, Fence. Oh, 
shit, it gives me money! That one was just for fun. Perfect. I got band-aids. Okay. So I can run, so I might as well run. It's a little awkward. I'll get used to it. Yes. <laughs> Watch out, Wood. You stand no chance. Oh, <laughs> profiling time. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Okay. So now we have to find the three keys so we can beat the level. Can't see much through this fog. The path might be blocked from the rank. We should stay away from obvious danger. I mean, it doesn't look like fog to me. It looks like, you know... Red, red stuff. Red vines. Twizzlers. Mmm. Observe. G N A V. Maybe? It's too worn. That's all I can make out. Looks like it's been left to rot. No one's taking care of this park, I guess? Oh, wait. There's a barrel. Is it an explosive barrel? Just by virtue of it being a barrel? Oh, I can't... Can't hit it? Okay, I can't hit it. Fine, then. I do hear a dog barking. <gasps> what? Looks like scary shit is afoot. Hmm. So much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. Do me a favor and stay sharp, Zack. Whoa. Suddenly it's tank controls? No. Get out of here. Now I hear the scary music. Oh. Is Zack the gun? That's a fun theory. I'm gonna take a can of pickles. Generator E A Y eight thousand.
First clue, the mysterious shadow. Okay. Equip weapon. Oh my gosh. Equip weapon and draw it with RT. And then draw it and aim with L. All right. I can lock? I got money. I got money for that. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Oh! Hello! Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just amazed that they come in cans. Because I've never seen pickles in cans before. Jars? Yes. Uh, maybe like, I don't know, a plastic bag. Sure. Can? <laughs> oh shit, money! Can't see much through this fog. Oh, I found a way to speed it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm glad I found that early on. Ooh. An old sign. I can make out G R N V A L. Looks like we're headed down this road, Zach. That I do I've been remember. through a lot of crazy situations, but that That's one. Pretty neat. That one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. Zach, can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? Yes. But. All those clips are kind of like foreshadowing of all the stuff that you see in the game, which I think is pretty neat. Lollipop. Nice. Oh yeah! You find food because you have to feed Zack. Zack is like a Tamagotchi. You have to take care of him. Otherwise he becomes a stinky agent and that's no good. Oh, and I can save data here. I don't think I'll need to save. I'm gonna play it on, play it a little dangerously. But yeah, I mean, I'd like to talk more about this game, like, but I have a question, I guess. Chat, is there anyone in chat that hasn't seen this game before? Are those barrels no. explosive? <laughs> right in the butt. You've never even heard of this game? Yes! Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so the barrels are explosive and I was too close. <laughs> I got hurt a little bit. Let me see if I can heal with food. Does food heal? I guess it's here, an item. Oh, okay. Oh, it just recovers hunger. I see, I see. 
Maybe I'll use a bandage. Because I exploded myself when I shouldn't have. But yeah, there's a lot about this game I don't remember either, so I'm really excited to revisit it all again. And it's exciting to be able to share it with uh, people who have no idea what this game is, so I'm very, very excited. Another sign. An old sign. I can make out G-R-E-N-V-A-L-E. -E. Looks like we're headed down this road, Zach. I hear footsteps that aren't my own. Ah, yes. Oh, you're an asshole. Amazing. Amazing. If you get headshots, Zach compliments- or not Zach, but York compliments you on your aim. Is that another pipe? Maybe I should equip one and see how they work. I think they do break. Oh shit. I have a pipe! That's a one hit KO! Well, that was amazing. Although I'm already at, like, half endurance. <laughs> Worth. <laughs> Worth! You get money for it! I'm just being careful. I don't want to hit the barrel. It will explode. I need it. I need the money. Sick. That's way faster than bullets. <laughs> SoundCloud Raptor, you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> Although I guess, yeah. This is really scary gameplay. Oh. Nope, I still have pipe. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now the pipe is broken. Oh, but I have it. I have another pipe. Maybe I'll switch to Just a nice walk along the boardwalk at night, in the rainstorm, with jiggle hip zombies. <laughs> They're just working on their um their flexibility. <laughs> Great. Shot. I think the auto aim aims for their Shot. butt. And when they double back like that, they kind of line themselves up perfectly. Wait, did they drop something? Ooh, Agent Honor. Toolbox, 
We're good. Oh, shit. A lot of damage here. I wish I had leap motion for this. I want to do what he's doing right here. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's his move. The generator looks really bad, Zach. I think the killer really had a grudge against it. I got machine broken by an axe. Profiling time! Zack, let's try to find a way to fix this mess. I got a fuse box. I got extra cash for profiling because I'm such a good FBI agent. Oh shit, more shit to explode? <laughs> Say less! Hell yeah. My chaotic destruction is rewarded with money! I love it. Locked with a padlock. I should be able to break this if I could hit it hard enough. Ah yes, the classic. I know this move. But the power of gun! No door can stand in my way. what the deal is with their purple blood. Okay. Pop it in there. Tap the dial. No problem. The power in the area should be much more stable now. Let's hurry ahead, Zack. raining like crazy out here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Do you remember when I picked normal difficulty and it was like, yes, for those that enjoy combat, <laughs> this is... But so far, it's kind of mindless. You just lock on. It's, and then they go away. I'm not an asshole. Amazing. compliments me on my aim. Makes me feel good. The hell is that noise? Oh, that guy. That guy has a shovel. Get your shovel? No? Well, that sucked. That's not fair. Oh, there's all kinds of guys out here. And another car! Someone else crashed. Hello? <laughs> I know there's another guy. I'm gonna back up because I don't want to get hit. Oh! There's red vines blocking my exit. Oh, 
there's a barrel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a wide berth. Ooh, I'm gonna get this. Oh, is there more bad guys? I'm sorry? Oh, I guess, okay, there's more. Don't stop shooting. Is there more? Yes. Music. I should show that off at least once. But I don't know if the ones that are wielding weapons will attack in their unique way. Amazing. Okay, she dropped her weapon, so I could show it. Hi. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Oh, he's just choking me. Ah! Get off me! thought she would do, but... Bullets? I don't need no stinking bullets! So that's great. Okay. Oh, there's two of you? Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Shit. Okay. Okay. I think at this point, I'm taking out pipe. It's time for pipe. Just that tight of a fit. Oh. Ah, did I evade? 
No, oh. shit. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm gonna try and preemptively do what I think I'm supposed to do. Right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if he gets you, that's a one hit death. But I survived. Spiko, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to an evening where we are all FBI agents on the case. Uh -huh. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. I survived my first encounter with the raincoat killer. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. And I got red ivy. You're just in time. We're gonna profile. I hope you caught all that. There will be a quiz later on. Boop. There's definitely something in this town. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. Mm. Yeah, I'd say there's something about this town with the weird vines, maybe. Spiko, have you ever played this game or heard about this game? Or is this completely new? Because if this is new, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. You've heard the name? But you're fucking confused. Welcome. <laughs> okay, actually, before I do this, let me check to see if I have, uh, if I used up all my health or if I have some more. I do. Okay, I have at least one. Okay, I can show this off. <laughs> Welcome to the game, everybody. Um, as you can see, 507 yards off is my destination. I have no choice because I crashed my car. I have to run there. We have to run. Wait, there's a sign. Uh, oh, it says Greenvale. We're finally here, Zach. Finally here. Okay. All right. So on the upper left, you'll see a heart. Or I guess your HP, and below that is your heart rate. As you can see, the longer I run, the higher it climbs. If it hits max, I'll start losing health. It punishes me. This game is very realistic. And like I said before, Agent Francis York Morgan is like a Tamagotchi. You need to take care of him, change his clothes, feed him, make sure he gets plenty of rest. All that good stuff. Oh, and as you can see, well, yeah, it was starting to get hairy, but it's fine. It's fine now. Now you were very late. Emily Wyatt, Greenvale Deputy Sheriff. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Uh, 
did a little bit more than break down. <laughs> just, you know, just a little. Kind of flipped it, actually. It's on fire. We might have started a forest fire, actually. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. He is saying this out loud. Don't want that, do we, Zach? <laughs> Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. George Woodman, Greenvale Sheriff. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profiling. Both our superiors have yes, with those each handlebars. Other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <clears throat> of course. Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right, don't worry. I'll get my assistant Thomas to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks, that'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. Duh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. <gasps> and we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. George called him Agent York or Agent Morgan, not York. Like he likes to be called. Everybody calls him York. Wow, 29 enemies. Amazing. Perfect. <laughs> Hello, FBI. Yes, I killed 29 weird entities. Give me my money. Ooh, attack on this uh, shotgun was high. Ooh, so good. Previously, sure. <laughs> sure. What happened last time? Previously, during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Great. We're all caught up. <laughs> Episode one. First day of investigation. Hello, Niff. How are you doing? The test here. I was like, whoa. I'm being cursed by the game. Angel Isaac. are a little different in this room. 
Sugar donut? Sugar donuts will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. Oh, yeah. I got the sugar donuts. Oh, the TV got knocked over. Oh, no. The red room is in complete disarray. I guess it's time to leave this place. Looks like the door wasn't locked. There's a dog. Why is there a dog? Woof, woof. Run! Why not? I'm doing so good. I'm so excited to be playing this game again. Have you ever played this game, Nip? Are you familiar with Deadly Premonition? Your. Monster. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Okay. Uh, I will hold my breath. don't need to breathe but that was fun <laughs> trying to scare me while I was holding my breath how dare <laughs> who are you I know <laughs> don't smile like me or at me Child? A good old can of pickles. A can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. That's a big ass bed. There's like a California king, and then there's this. Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Hmm. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? This bed is incredible. Oh, I can call in to the agency. 
nothing here of interest to me. Well, just hold on. Turn it. Turn on the TV. Okay, if I'm guess getting this right, the person on the TV there is Swurry, <laughs> the creator of the game. Nothing here of any interest to me. Oh no. When he was skydiving, I guess. Also, here's another fun thing we could do in this game. Uh, Zach has other clothes. Because his clothes get dirty and you have to change them. And the more you play, the more suits you unlock. So right now he has like his red tie, his green tie, and a red sort of blazer deal. There will be more. More suits. This is a really nice room. Looking blurry. <laughs> but yeah, I've never seen a can of pickles before. I'm not sure if it's real. I'm sure the internet would have the inter the answer though. <laughs> Rare the red jacket? Okay. But first, let's shave. Hmm, not bad. Is that how shaving works? I wouldn't know. Cool. I made $12 shaving. Looks like the door wasn't locked. It's our bathroom. No one should be in there. Cool. I'm in the bathroom. There's nothing to do in here. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Ooh, it's called Crimson. We're wearing it now. Fancy! I see what you mean about the shoulder blades. I'm starting to think he just has really sharp shoulder blades. Okay, more phones. interest. It's the weather. Today is a fine, clear day. A perfect day to have a walk. Okay. Oh, I got money for checking the weather. <laughs> nice. Open it? Yeah, sure. I got egg. I got egg. Alright, there's some sweet candy. There's some cola. The shelves are lined with various goods. Their selection isn't exactly remarkable, but we may still find something of interest. Oh, we could take, we can take any key we want. This place is huge. Okay, suddenly it's tank controls again. Ah. It's advisable not to cook your eggs. Or it's advisable... Oh. It is not advisable to cook your eggs whole in a microwave. Yeah, they'd explode, wouldn't they? The blade of a huge saw is on display. Likely used ages ago for lumber milling. tells us here that deer hunters score points according to the number of antlers on their prey. If all the culprits we brought in had antlers, what would our score be by now? I guess you can learn some fun facts about the town up here. Oh. 
Though there is controversy concerning the cruelty of shooting game for entertainment, deer hunting helps keep the deer population in check, thus maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Doubt. <laughs> Could homicides be helping us keep our numbers in check, I wonder? What? York, what are you suggesting? A display shows Greenvale official hunting tools. <laughs> right, what the shit? Do not shoot females. Males are scored according to their number of antlers. Consult the taxidermist for rare specimens. Various clauses on deer hunting. If they shoot us by accident, do you think they'd stuff us as rare specimens? So deer hunters don't shoot the does. I figure all ladies deserve special attention. Doesn't seem to be any value of me. What do you think, Zach? Smash. Steal. This is Resident Evil rules now, baby. I don't think you can. Ah, shit. There we go. Oh. It's just a saw. Oh shit. That. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hey. I can get a lollipop or a cracker. I think I'm Wait, no. I think my hunger Wait, I have I have pickles. I can eat pickles. Yes, pickles. I ate a lot. I feel full. Thank you, pickles. What do we got in the vending machines? Coffee with milk or coffee? Black. Good to know. We did want coffee, though, but I think the coffee we want is here. That carpet, though. Why is it camo? Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Polly Oxford, hotel owner. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Polly's Polly not a zombie. Fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. Polly is me when Nadja is, like, on my back. <laughs> is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna admire yes. her. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh, my, Mr. Morgan. You're embarrassing She me. has standards. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> 
Now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah. Yeah. Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well... Oh, yeah. Tell me about the shops. Yes, actually, I go, Polly. Boop. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll Boop. get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. Sweary I don't 65. care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. <laughs> My FBI shades, well, oh yeah. Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. Aha. He's going to commune with the coffee. Look with interest. <gasps> Did you see it? <laughs> Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Now then, let's get going. All right. Now, I saw that agent on her back here, so... Gotta collect that! Can I play the piano? No? Okay then, fine. Bye! Seriously. <laughs> this camel carpet is atrocious. <laughs> F.K. Fucking knowledge. <laughs> the fuck? He uses coffee to gain clues? Yeah. Look, and also, you can see this icon here. It's a coffee cup with a question mark on it. And it kind of gives you, I believe, if my memory serves, fortunes? So let's just give it a try. Unexpected trouble is coming your way. Lucky item. Lighter. There's always trouble heading my way in this job. But I'm always up for a little excitement, too. Same again. 
You just keep drinking coffee. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You will have a lot of fun today. Lucky place. Theme park. There's no theme park in this town, though. All that good luck is just slipping away. But I think I'll have a thrilling enough time right here anyway. Same again. It's like reading tea leaves while drinking coffee. Yeah. Do not act without thinking first. Lucky number three. So my lucky number is three today. The first case I worked after joining the FBI had three victims. I don't know if you ever get like repeats. I'm very curious to know. Surely, surely the unpredictability lies ahead today. Lucky place, train station. An unpredictable life is a wonderful thing. Cases may come flooding in like passengers at rush hour. Okay, I think I'll stop for now. <laughs> You're gonna have to use the bathroom real soon. Yeah. Yeah. York, maybe a barista is gonna tell your fortune. Maybe. Hi, Polly. Oh, hi. Ah, yes, Mr. Morgan. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. I sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much, but they may help you out. You're the sales girl too, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city hotel. Great, thank you. Oh, alright then. Did you want something? Oh yeah, you can buy stuff. Very well, just a moment. I can buy coffee from her. I can buy stabilizer, completely restores pulse rate, and also keeps it low for long. Actually, that seems like that would be, you know, kind of handy. Sure, I'll take some of that. That sounds useful. Maybe. I can buy cigarettes. I think I have cigarettes. Ah, oh, hell. Let's buy more. Oh, I maxed out on cigarettes. Okay then. Then of course I can get lollipop or a cracker. Or a donut. Or cheese. I'm gonna take cheese. I'm just gonna have cheese. It's cheese. And yeah, bait. Normal worm. Use it with a fishing rod to go fishing. There's fishing in this game. And rod. Sure, I'll buy a rod. Nice. And some bait. Oh, whoops. No. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, and try to take it easy today, okay? No. <laughs> Never. Alright, I beat that level. making so much money. <laughs> Ew. That turkey sandwich looks off. Just a little off. This music is awesome too, by the way. A police car. I can't really whistle. I need practice.
Don't be late. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. We're gonna drive. We're gonna drive! I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you got brakes. You can change your view. You can honk your horn. You could steer the vehicle. Very important. Uh, you, you could turn the wipers on or off. You can signal left or right. You can have you have acceleration, which is also very important. You can change the view on that side as well. You have headlights, you have side brake, uh, you have talk, boost, and change view. Yeah, sure, no problem. I, I know how to drive. I played Mario Kart. I'm a master at this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's over. Wait, there's no reverse, is there? Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. Shit. That's fine. My body's kind of blocking it, but there's a, a, a gas gauge and um, the health of the car, which is currently at 97%. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer. The visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. <laughs> do you remember the first video that we bought? Nope. We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. Remember when that video okay, started? A little too much. A little too much side break. A little too much. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Team. 78. Produced. I've actually never seen that movie. Seven minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. That was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never had a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it over together. Here. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. There's like a card? There is a card! Get out of the car! Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed Fun to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. The helicopter crashed and took I'm with a you. full budget because they actually crashed. <laughs> I did not know that. Wow. I'll just add this trading card to my collection. A record player. That shit's so rare. And continue onward. Wait, what was that? Oh, wait, am I smelly? No. What's that? I'm seeing things. Um. Also, fun fact about this game. Uh, you can peep in windows. It loads, which is a little bit annoying, but you can peep in windows. Oh, look at that. Look, oh, look at that in the corner. There's Agent Honor in there. Shit, we gotta get in there. We gotta get the money. Looks pretty dead. That coffee does look pretty good. I'm impressed with Zach's, or not Zach's, but York's bladder. I should see if he needs food. 
Is York hungry? He's good. He's so good. A peeping York? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. Wait, can I look at the map? Yes. There's a card there. I have to- that's where I have to go. I have to go to the Greenvale Sheriff's Department. Nick's house. Anna's house. Brian's house. Who the fuck is Brian? I know who Brian is. There's a bone! We'll be getting to that eventually. A and G diner with two suspects. Uh, an electrical substation. I think this is where we'll be going to the car. Like, our car is being taken to this. I think this is the car lot. I think. Lysander- Oh, never mind. I lied. This is it. This is Lysander's junkyard. I'm trying to find the milk barn. I want to go there. But maybe I just have to wait. Okay, I'll focus on the task at hand. To the police department. Let's just go there. Let's peel out of this parking lot and get going. Let's do a few K turns. No worries, no worries. Make sure you signal and turn on the wipers. What? I'll walk back. What the hell? Oh. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. I guess I'll go around the block. Deadly Spawn. Deadly Spawn. I've never heard of that movie either. Back in 83. Directed by Douglas McKenna. Right, it was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design and the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. People are driving like crazy up here. Sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now, that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. I was familiar with Tremors, yeah, but I haven't seen Tremors like either. Crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. Okay, then. Yeah, York's driving. Yeah. Oh, York needs to calm down. Oh shit. Add it to the list. Tremors is great. Add it to the suggestions. Climb up. <gasps> I can peep inside the police department. I'm sure this is fine. Small mouth. Bass. <laughs> Bass. <laughs> okay, well, looks like it's empty and Cool. It sucks that it like loads every time you peep. Thomas's biscuit, a biscuit baked by Thomas, recovers life, hunger, and tiredness, and prevents them from lowering. Don't have a uh, date yet for a movie night, but I will uh, make sure everyone gets pinged once it's announced. Greenvale Sheriff's Department. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookies recovers a little bit of hunger. Oh. I could go for a cookie. Uh, uh. 
Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Thomas's best boy. It's Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. <laughs> His neck is broken just I a little understand. bit. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. All right. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. <laughs> All right, so the quest for the key to the file has begun. He has a good France, he really does. Alright, so we can shave. We can shave over um, what appears to be a tomato and some peppers and some iceberg uh, lettuce. Oh, and a whole pot of stew. We could just shave here. I'm sure they won't mind. That is a lot of aluminum as well. Anyway. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? All right, so we have a dumbbell. Cool. Found some squirrel keys. A gray squirrel key. Okay. A turkey sandwich. A card of a turkey sandwich. That turkey looks off. Unless the purple is uh, some sort of lettuce. Then maybe it's okay. Hello, officers. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Okay. We'll leave him to it. Agent York, did you find the key? Yes. The gray squirrel keys. Here you go. You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? <laughs> Why does the game try to scare me with the discovery uh, noises? Hmm? <laughs> no, this is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the US, Canada, and in England too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Okay, so it was the wrong squirrel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a horror game, I'll have you know. This is a scary, scary game. It is so scary. I mean, look at those shelves. Well, ominous. Nothing in that one. Oh, this has a lot of stuff. Oh, I can't interact. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, the search continues. 
Thomas is fine. He's perfect. He doesn't need any help. Ah, oh, thank you. Yum. Love me some ecto cooler. Right, I could pump some iron in here. Nice. Open. Nothing. But there is a squirrel in here. A long tailed flying squirrel. Cool. Perhaps this. Perhaps this is the correct squirrel. Thomas, I have returned. I have found a key. You found the key. I hope so. Uh, no. This is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. Sugar the sugar glider. glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? All right. So, if you haven't figured it out yet, there are multiple squirrel keys. And so far, we haven't found any of the right ones. Oh, Emily! Oh, wait, there you are. Hi, 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 hi. Wait, where are you going? I want to say hello. Anyway. Bet you didn't expect to learn squirrel facts today, but there you go. Did you, did you just put that tape on? Hi. What did you... Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Uh, uh among other things. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet with the files. And asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. Where did you put that tape, Emily? Okay. Anyway, the search for the key continues. Oh, I think there's another room over here. The storage room. You swear Emily sounds like Idol? I'll have to listen again. Idol has a very distinct voice. Wait, observe. A well-organized storage room. No doubt this is Thomas's work too. Whoever gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. A raincoat? Oh. It doesn't look like it's been used much, even though it rains here pretty often. What waste of nice fabric, eh, Zach? Well, it's not a squirrel key, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, a pointy-tailed flying squirrel key. Did I just... Yeah, I just, like, pushed these, like... <laughs> Get fucked, Cone. No one likes you. Cone? Okay. Okay, more well-organized storage area. Okay. okay. Maybe this is the right key. Thomas, I found another key.
You found the key. I think so. Is this it? Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? Uh this isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Seriously. Okay. The search continues. This is making me squirrely. <laughs> the office room. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for uh, some freaking squirrel keys. Thomas, do you have severe scoliosis? <laughs> Leave him in his neck alone. Oh, oh, George. Wait, what's that above your head? Hmm. Huh? Uh. George, do you work out every day? Of course, uh. Agent Morgan. Uh. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Hmm. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I huh? can't do my full uh. routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. <laughs> Why does every squad in a video game look the mind. same? <laughs> His partner Sylvester misses him too. If uh, you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. I have a quest. And guess what? I already have the answer to the quest. <laughs> So yeah, this game has side quests, and according to this... There's 50 quests. I don't know if I'll be able to do all 50. But I'll try to do... Some. At least the ones that I remember being, like, super fun. George, I need to talk to you! I have something for you! Shit! Get back here. I'm just gonna look at, at your office. Got a lot of trophies. Good for you. Why do the names have brackets? They're drawing attention to them. Okay, I have to talk to you, George. I need to talk to you. Agent Morgan, did you want something? Yes! Take your goddamn dumbbell! <laughs> George, I wonder what the o officer sitting like, right? Really? Here is thinking. <laughs> he was a bit hard headed, but I got him to come back. Huh? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Here's your shake weight. Oh, he gave me a trading card. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zach, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Bum, bum, bum. Just another day at the precinct. All right, first side quest complete. Awesome. But I still need to find a freaking squirrel key. <laughs> the right squirrel key, because there's why is every why is every key on a squirrel keychain? Why? Okay, well I can't enter the man washroom. Or the woman washroom.
Doesn't look like there's a squirrel key in here either. I could check the weather, but I'm good. I already know it's a clear day. I can't... Oh, it says don't open. Alright, fine. I won't. I won't. <laughs> they bought the squirrel set of chains off Etsy. Supporting local businesses. Is it a fire exit? An emergency exit. It's locked, though. What use is an emergency exit if it's locked in an emergency? That's a great question. Great. It's tank controls. It's tank controls! Why? Looks like I can move this. Can I equip my gun? Can I equip gun? <laughs> Ooh, firing a gun in a precinct? It's more likely than you think. Wait, does this not work? Oh, there we go. I just had to give it some space, I guess. I got money. Worth it. Looks like we're entering the jail portion of the basement. Oh my gosh. I think there's a faster way to open doors, but I don't remember how. I'm hoping it. the game teaches me. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Scared him. A desk for the warden. Is it even in use? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. I was just keeping you on your toes. You can relax. At ease. At ease. Is there a key in any of these cells? Looks like I could sleep in there. I could just be like, hey, I'm tired. I'm just gonna chill out. There's a guy. Holding cells, technically. Good call. Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit soon, though that'll mean the end of our little vacation. I'm sorry. Uh, this is XYZ102. I gotta go in this cell. <laughs> There's Agent Honor. And a curvy-tailed flying squirrel key. Nice. Wait, there's a door? What? Why is there a door? What? Can't do anything with it, though. Just another guy. Okay. Well, there's another part of the basement. Might as well... Oh, look at that! I burst right through! I think I found the secret sauce. You gotta run at the doors. That's way faster. I'm gonna try and do that every time. Thank you for the bullets. For my infinite ammo gun. <laughs> Either everyone is real bad at Survivor, or I am a god at this game. Survive- Oh! Are you playing Dead by Daylight? We found a shooting range. Or something there. Can I shoot it? Well, this one's really fast. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby! Ron Kind! Thank you for your subbing for six months! Thank you! Happy Thursday. I hope you're doing super good. Also, congrats on all your uh, cable management. 
I like cable management. It makes me happy. I found a striped squirrel. Striped squirrel key. Yes, good. But the problem with my cords is that they're on the ground. <laughs> Which... I am now inspired to not have them on the ground. Oh, thank you. Almost missed that. Hi, Asabora. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Can I aim? Oh, item acquired. The hell? You do get stuff for doing this. Holy shit. First aid kit. Nice, 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 nice. Welcome, welcome. I am playing Deadly Premonition. It's a meme of a game. It's incredible. I love this game. <laughs> it's so scary. So scary. And I just found out that if I shoot these targets, I get items. You get prizes, so... Dang it, dang it. It's, aiming is hard. Why is it so hard? There we go. Bullseye. I cannot take any more bullets. My inventory is fine. Don't judge me. I just pot it into my toolbox. No worries. Do you have to get like an exact bullseye? Uh huh, it's getting a little close. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nailed it. More bullets to the toolbox with you. Alright, next one. I wish I didn't start in the middle, because I forget which one that was. It's a little higher, a little lower, a little, a little, a little. There we go. Nice. Oh, we got another can of pickles, everybody. A can of pickles. Amazing, amazing. I gotta reload. My aim is perfect. Yep. Might be a little off. There we go. This might be the one where I got the item. I'll just move on. I'm sure... I'm just gonna think that one is the one I got the item for. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. More bullets, damn. It has to be for a gun I don't have yet. Because I know you get other weapons as time goes on. No problem. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, this is good. I'll take another first aid kit. Ah, hell yeah. Okay, I do notice that the targets are moving a little faster.
My aim, I... Oh, is time actually going? I hear a bell. There we go. Item, item achieved. I have to go faster. <laughs> Watch me, I'll finish this. I'll take the squirrel keys back up to Thomas and Thomas will be like, well, we're closed for the day. I hate reloading. I hate reloading. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, only two more to go. Cigarettes! I'm full on cigarettes. To the toolbox with you, cigarettes. They are the heavy brand cigarettes. This is moving pretty fast. <laughs> I might have, uh, I might be going too fast. I'm going to reload. Precision. Aim. Things, qualities I don't possess. I just, yeah, I'm just gonna like hold it there. Oh, he moves it. I can't just hold it. It's like, gotcha. It's got layers of difficulty. Come on. Come on! I gotta be close. I gotta be close. There is a person here. There is a person here. There's a person here. There is a person here. Dog Thank pile! You. Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you for bringing your community over! Hello! How was your stream? Hello, raiders! Hello! I am Spooky Wookie Coconut. I am a ghost VTuber and variety streamer, and tonight I am playing a deadly premonition. You're just in time. I This is a brand new game. My first session of it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm trying to get items right now. Dogpile, how was your stream? Let me try to give you a shout out here. Wait, nope. That's the wrong button. I really hope this button works today. Oh, it does. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. All right, give me one moment here. Of course, it takes a moment to update. Can one of my mods do a shout out, please, for Dogpile? It is exclamation SO. Please and thank you. Doing very well. Thank you. Has fun sailing the seas. Oh! This this is going well. I'm trying to get items right now. I have to shoot this target. And it's uh this one's tricky. <laughs> The next level up is the one to the left of it, and that one's going even faster. Oh, aiming is difficult. It is not the easiest, but what can you do? What can you do? Okay, it seems my mods are a bit busy at the moment, which is okay. I got it. Boom! There you go. Thanks again for raiding, Dogpile. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for bringing your community over. My followers, if you haven't yet, please check out Dogpile. Oh, you're playing Sea of Thieves. I've played, I've seen uh, Let's Plays of that, but I never tried it out myself. Is it fun? What is your favorite part about sailing the high seas? Oh, this is a meme game, if ever there was. Whoa, how am I supposed to shoot that? I'm probably gonna give up here because this one's tough. Like what even is aiming? <laughs> Moo gas, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the haunt. Welcome to the community. So glad to have you. Okay, so yeah, I'll come back to that maybe a bit later. I feel like I could spend a lot of time there. But yes, Deadly Premonition is a, well, it's a very unique game. It would 
was made, or it came out rather, in 2010. It has horror elements, but it wasn't really meant to be a horror game. But it's special. It's just, it's great. Okay, right now, we're trying to uh, find the correct squirrel key to get to Thomas. So we can open the cabinet, so we can have our meeting. You love Sea of Thieves? There's a lot to do. Your favorite part is the adventure of sailing and hanging out with friends. Oh, yeah, that sounds lovely. Agent York, did you find the key? Well, I found two. Let's start with the striped squirrel key. You found the key? Yeah! I hope this it. is the right one. Uh, you found oh. a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? What? Sorry. Siberian key. what? A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. <laughs> southern flying. Okay, okay. No worries, Mookas. Thanks again for the follow. Have a great rest of your evening. All right. Only one key left. I have a feeling is the correct key. You found the key. That's the right one? I realized the time for the shades was done. You can still compliment them, though. <laughs> it's a point redeem. Yes. You're a very welcome, Doc Pyle. Thank you so much for the Thank raid. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. <laughs> okay. That smile. I'll be waiting for you. Emily? Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've Emily? cracked a big case already. Just hanging out the door, Emily? Okay. <laughs> that was creepy. Why was she just standing there, staring at the wall? The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the a &G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in a lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Yep, no worries, Doc Pyle. Take care. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. He did just snuff this out his cigarette on a plate. Good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily? You come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Tell that to the squirrel keys, am I right? And yes, <laughs> Thomas makes wonderful biscuits. I want to see if there's options, though. What do you all think? Because to me, it kind of sounds like the music's almost drowning out their voices. It's weird. And I don't know, like, it's the default because I've not touched the settings at all. I'm just wondering if I could tweak that a little bit. Because I'd like the voices to be louder than the music, you know? 
Ah, root beer effectively fends off sleep for a while and also recovers quite a lot of tiredness. Mm. And chocolate. Only a small amount of hunger shall be satisfied with the bitter chocolate. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. <laughs> you can't stop me, George. George, we better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. All right. Can I talk to them? Hello. Head toward the hospital. We all want this case solved as quickly as possible. I'm sorry, what is what what appeared on his body? <laughs> nice. Uh I guess cuz it started raining. She's quite pretty. She looked better wearing something more fashionable than this dull uniform. Agree, Zach? Wow. Uh, cal slow your roll, your Calm down. We need to get to the hospital and get those autopsy results. I didn't observe George. I should. George seems kind of sus. Idol says. So yeah, let's let's observe. Let's let's look at this guy. Hmm. Quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and is too eager to compete, which may be what it takes. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we're getting- wait! Observe the car. A normal car turned into a patrol car. Not fast, but cheap to drive. Okay. Alright. Time to drive. And show- show my new co-workers! Agent Morgan, get us there quickly. My driving drive skills. The speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. Well then, Agent York, let's get going. All right. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Let's just let's reverse. Should, let's look at the map. Right? Should look at the map. Where am I going? <laughs> I believe I need to get onto this road. Wait, what's that? That looks important. It's in this direction. Okay, so it's this road. There's a flower along that road too. Oh, there's a lot of flowers. Okay. Okay, so I'm currently here. I need to get onto this road. Okay, got it. Got it. Don't tell. Don't tell them. Don't. Don't. Don't up. Oh shit. You guys. You guys are okay. You're okay. 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 We're all good. <laughs> I can't help noticing. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I must say I've never felt lonely. No, oh, whoops, I went too far. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. If you notice things like that in my age, you have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? Oh. George, is this an interrogation? Well, she got you good. Terribly good. Hey, this is working out really well. A week? It 
It's not that light of a wound. So. For a full time sheriff in a small town. Oh, I need to turn on my wipers. I'm sure it is small. So rude of city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to small town. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first uh -huh. and foremost. And that's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Ah, yes. In all his glory. Kind of makes me glad that I'm Did you say something, Agent Morgan? No, nothing. I was just reflecting on a little bit. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Oh, Keep your oh I made it. I made the turn. Okay. where you're going I honk at you I was having a conversation <laughs> uh, the car's life is at 89% we're doing great watch where you're going <laughs> the other side. Hold on, George and Emily. Everything's fine. I'm gonna get out of right here. I'll meet you guys at the hospital. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the hospital closes at 2100. Please make it inside before then. You got it. Okay. Can I just run over here? No, it's like there's an invisible wall. Aha, perfect. This flower something very mesmerizing about it. I wonder what it's called. I'll take one with me and ask someone later. Isn't it a... a daisy? <laughs> a flower with no name. Okay. It looks like a daisy to me. And I know there's like a fishing spot there, but... There'll be time for fishing later. I can't dilly-dally. I dilly dallied for a flower. Oh, right. Make sure the wipers are on and I'm signaling, honking the horn. Oh, and of course, you have to like knock these over. Yeah. Look, I got money for it! <laughs> oh, I lost money that time? <laughs> it's not very consistent. Nailed it. Perfect driving. Signing dotted lines, sending your gut with seafood and oh, oh. Rules and protocol. Congratulations! Oh, now you try to go in by yourself. That's oh, awesome, George. B gamer. Welcome. I didn't see you in the parking lot, so I thought I'd wait inside. Just watch it from now on. Mm -hmm. I think I, I like pissed off George and Emily. Who think that they're above the rules? And I'm sure I've made this point clear by now. Calm down, George. He probably just got lost on his way here and rushed in. Right, Agent Hill? Let's go inside then. Yes. But yeah, 
says, Be gamer, congratulations on becoming a homeowner. That is huge. That is huge. What did you have for seafood? I love seafood. Hello, Sheriff. Freckly Fiona, hospital receptionist. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. How did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Is it? I've been Rumors here for get a day. Rumors as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But it... Fiona, don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain. It's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. But yeah, no worries. That's completely understandable. Again, huge congrats. Congrats, congrats. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the hospital here is especially legendary. I'll be sure to try and show the signs. Oh my god. York, calm the frick down. He's like... thirsty. Why? What's going on? Okay. Alright. Can I see what's here on the first floor? Not really. Okay, keep my eyes peeled. What does George have to say about it? Let's go to the computer room. We need to find Usha. Okay. Fine. Okay, this one I should be able to read. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Uh, yes. Your doctor told us that you error to be our fatty. Accept our enthusiastic congratulations and well wish on your coming sea vent. And be assured that we have a very personal interest in your case and have already taken steps to see to T that your stay in the Palo Alto Hospital will be pay us a social visit before you enter we want to mend it and agree you for yours it's so good oh we got we got hospital floor so this is floor one up ahead we have the uh medica mint storage and then to the left there's the hickey storage one to two. That's exciting. We have the dissecting room. <gasps> the dead house. We can go to the dead house. Or the sleep lab. <laughs> Do you need a nap? Just visit the sleep lab. No problem. There's also the toilet and the power room. It's so good. It's so good. Nope, we got this one too. Uh, love your eyes. Like your eyes, wah ha ha. 
Regis, Regis Trey Tiong of Phil, room eight. Therapeutic C what? Blood dollar sign rune collection? X-ray room, hello kitty. Chest X-ray. Uh, Fafa, my girl. Uh, polyclinic machines. And exam of internal medicine four. <laughs> I feel like these weren't meant to be read. You might be right. You might be right. But isn't it wonderful that I can read them? <laughs> isn't it grand? Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Okay, okay, okay. All right, everyone. Here we go. Caution your body. Per examination service, registering reg, no, registrate Tiong, a filling blood urine collection, x ray room, room 7. Dot second, chest x ray, polyclinic rooms, exam of internal medicine. Oh! Men a women. <laughs> Men a women. Uh, primartial, primartial exam M, room four. Surgical exam for men. And premartial exam F. Maybe for females. For ladies. Door was unlocked. I feel like this goes back to the... The foyer? I swear I saw the T before the I. That's why I said it like that. Otherwise, I would say marital. Gosh. There's a Hello Kitty room. What more do you want? I read that. Save your life. Yep. Red, save your life. Premarital exam guide of a marshal. I do like the idea of that, where it's like you're fighting karate style, hand to hand combat for your exam. Oh shit, I can push that? One way? It's a one way. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway. Into the computer room we go. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? All right. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes pawn to the queen. All right, so... Oh, whoops. Question is, which one is the king? Because I know this is a rook that I'm looking at right here. This is a bishop. This is a knight. This is a pawn. So maybe this is the king and this is the queen. So I'll try that. So we'll do king. Never mind, that's the queen. Right. King. Rook. Bishop. Knight, pawn, queen. Amazing. Why do you feel like Zach's in, in is entirely in York's head? That is also a great theory. The Wait, that poster was telling us to love our deceased. eyes, right? How can our eyes be Another real if code? mirrors aren't real? <laughs> but there's nowhere to insert a password. I've heard that before. Games. Where the I'm frick did I hear that call before? Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where I've to use it. I've heard that before, but I can't remember where. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. 
simple. Ah, uh, yes, Jaden Smith. Then it's time right, to right, right. the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. I got the card key for the underground floor. Gosh, and I think Jaden Smith, I just wonder, is anyone worthy of Toblerone? That's what I want to know. I love Toblerone. Uh, 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 uh. Pardon you, Gurney. Being rude. Oh, I didn't run at the door fast enough. Can I talk to Fiona again? Hi, Fiona! Did you find Dr. Johnson? No, not yet. But I'm enjoying a little battle of wits with him right now. A battle of wits? <laughs> you seem to be having fun, Agent York. How are you doing, sir? No relation to the case, I figure. Okay. I read. I think I might have seen all the signs now. Yeah. Love your eyes. We've seen. Caution your body. Oh, wait. If caution your body is one, then maybe the premarital save your life. No, we've read that one too. Okay. But yeah, this is also one of my favorite lines where it's like, like your life, wah ha ha. <laughs> I will, I will like my life, wah ha ha. Alright, that's the ticket. I'm getting used to bursting through doors. Just trying to see if any of the signs have anything new. They're just a treat. They're a treat to read. Damn it. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Maybe this one will open. Nice. Where am I going? I need to go down. Maybe I'll look at the map. Reminds you of ah. Mm -hmm. I here's the reason why it reminds you of that, the gamer, because it's made by the same person. Both are made by Swery. D4 was made after this game, and I'm really sad it wasn't finished because that game is amazing. But yeah, where D4 wasn't complete this game was. So you will get to see the full extent of just how weird Swery's games can be. Okay, so it looks like I was going the right direction. I just lost the stairs. Which are... Okay, ahead. Okay, okay. Here they are. Why? Why are the stairs tank controls? It's the worst. It's the worst. Hmm. Eh. Gurney is following me again. D4 had such a killer soundtrack. I know. I'm so sad we didn't get more either. But it's weird. It's weird because after D4. Swery made Deadly Premonition 2, which is a game that exists, and it takes place partially in Boston, like D4. In fact, it takes place in the exact same apartment. So, things were recycled. 
I just wish it was a better game. This game's great. Deep, uh, Deadly Premonition 2, not so much, sadly. Not so much. Have a great night, Avoka. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Mwah. Good night. Okay, we're here. Oh my gosh, Agent Honor. Nice. I got money. Already, already. Hey, Grey Wolf! How are you doing? Welcome. You're just in time. <laughs> we found Usha. Usha. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Usha Johnson, doctor. They took a photo of him with his eyes closed. This is Why? Agent Morgan from the FBI. I'm doing hey, well. Nice Thank you for asking. You. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. George is like, you guys aren't allowed to have fun. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. And yeah, I feel the same way, Zachary Ox. I didn't play D4. I tried. It was really hard. The stiffening of the muscles. The time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from the chest to abdomen. is also fractured but that is unrelated to the cause of death it probably happened to her after she was killed now I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck but after further investigation I now have a different conclusion the direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Which means? She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Yeah, the music's the intense. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. The killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. 
cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that or a true hardcore sadist. Okay. I'm glad it's not just me that's like, it's, it's, you must get this off is weird. Watching so, women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. <laughs> so the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. York's like, I'm FBI. I'm a dick. But also, yeah, D4 had a great story. It was, yeah, definitely sad that it got cut short. But it is what it is. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Asha. What's up? His age isn't immediately apparent, though he can't be that old. Looks like a trustworthy doctor. Still, no hint of a smile. There's no reason we should focus our efforts on George. Gosh, if we look at Emily, he's going to be like, oh, so pretty. We shouldn't stare at her for too long. Oh my god. Your face. Hey, look at the feet. Look at the toes. Anna's body is lying on the table. Okay. She's neatly wearing a fake fingernail. Judging from the impressions, she was holding something in her hand, but it was removed around six hours after death. The object was circular with a relief shaped like a piece mark. Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. The tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stone. Bait legend worm raises the chances of catching rare items. That's a rare worm. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zach, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining but you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha. Are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? I'm very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, the perpetrator bit off Anna's tongue. <gasps> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead.
<sighs> We're diving in. Jackpot sack. A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. <laughs> right in the kisser. I'll need but you yeah, to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Got a lot of them. I have there baggies. You go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Hmm, chess jargon. Huh? <laughs> oh. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Not bad. Pretty great. Not good news for Anna, though. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but we've learned a lot so far in the case. And it looks like things have become scary <laughs> once again. You know what that means? Or it would. Zack, they're here. They're here. Yes, it seems like we've entered the other world. Once again. <laughs> We're on the trail of a serial killer. <laughs> no, no, I like the other spelling more. I like the other spelling more. It's like me mispronouncing marital. <laughs> but yes. We have entered the other hospital. While George handles the paperwork, we'll handle the nightmares. But it's pretty close to the end of stream. So I'm thinking starting the other world of hospital next time we play would be a really good idea. So I'm just gonna go over to the phone, call this into the, uh, the FBI agency and see what they think. Yeah, hello? Hello. <laughs> it's me, Francis York Morgan. I'm currently in a hellscape, surrounded by uh, weird fleshy vines calling, you know, crawling down from the ceiling. Is that normal? Should I be worried? No. Oh, you're giving me more agent honor money? Oh, hell yeah. Aw, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this just became Alice Madness Returns? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of has like a, a parallel there doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not going to be quite spooky mooding light. <laughs> Sp spooky mood lighting just yet. A boo. Because we will get into this uh, next time. So can I... Oh, I can't. Okay, hold on. This is the one thing about the Xbox 360 that I really like. I can turn it off, like fully off from the controller, as opposed to just putting it to sleep. It's very nice. So, that is um, our sort of our taste into Deadly Premonition. What do you all think so far? Do you like it? Are you intrigued? Do you want to know more <laughs> about what happens and what's going to go down and what's going to happen? Very interesting. Yes. Yes, yes. Very that. And, yeah. But aside from that, I like the mystery. I like the bizarreness. 
and that's we haven't even like we barely scratched the surface about all the kind of wacky stuff that's in the game as a whole so i'm very excited to get into this and show you all more of deadly premonition yeah you'll have to check the vod gamer congrats again on becoming a homeowner that's so exciting that's so hecking exciting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it a lot. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> I like it. The scuff is awesome. Isn't it? Isn't it? It was funny because the very first time I played this game, um, when it came to the part where you drive the car for the very first time, the controller, my controller bugged out. And for some reason, I was stuck steering to the left and I couldn't turn and everything was crazy. And I thought that was part of the game. <laughs> I thought that was just, wow, the driving in this game is bad. It's so bad. And I thought it was so, so funny. But it turns out I just had to unplug the controller, plug it back in, and it drove normally for the most part. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Welcome back, Spiko. You're just in time for the end of stream. <laughs> I have reached the end of stream, and now... Uh, I'm, in a moment, in a moment, I'm going to find myself a raid target. But first, but first, if you've been watching and you haven't yet, please consider giving me a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. I have a YouTube channel with all my VODs being stored. If you have a moment, please check that out. Subscribe, check out a video, like it, comment, all that stuff. That would be awesome. My schedule is normally Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. EST or PDT because, you know, daylight savings time. If you want to keep up with my schedule, please join my Discord or follow me on Twitter. I update my schedule in both of those places. This Saturday, May 14th, I'm having a community day starting at 9 a.m. PDT or PST. What is time? But we're going to be playing Jackbox games all day long uh, for six hours starting at 9 a.m. PST. So that interests you, please stop by. We'd love to have you. This is the third community day. And yeah, Jackbox Games is a lot of fun. So I'm really excited to get back into it and play with all of you. It's great, 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 great time. <laughs> and I think that's all. I think that is all the announcements that I have for now. So if you'll just stick with me for a moment longer, I will pick out a ray target for us. And seeing who is online, I believe, I believe I know exactly who I'm going to uh, send us to. It's been a little while, but I'm going to raid Sass Lambo. They're a lamb VTuber. They're very nice. So we'll go over there and we'll say hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you? All that good stuff. So just give me a moment here and I will get that underway. And I also have raid messages. So if you're subbed, feel free to copy and paste uh, this raid message. And if you are not subbed, feel free to copy paste uh, this raid message. We'll go over there, we'll say hello, we'll spend some time, and then I will go to sleep. <laughs> For I am a sleepy, sleepy ghosty. But yes, it looks like Lambo is currently playing a Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I think that's the new installment of Borderlands, which is great. I love Borderlands. So let's go over there and check it out. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. And I hope to see you on Saturday for Community Day with Jackbox Games. Until then, take care. Stay safe. And... <laughs> I really appreciate you very much. Oh my God. Okay, one other thing. <laughs> thank you so much, <laughs> Dogpile, again for the raid. Thank you, Voka, and thank you, Prankind, for the subs. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you all a lot. Thank you for the follows. <laughs> Take care. Have a great, great night.